Hello friends, this video on fractions part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us see what are fractions. So these are numbers representing part of a whole. So whenever we want to express something like out of the total, how much out of the total. So then we need fractions. So let us look at examples. So 1 by 6 is an example of a fraction. Now whenever you look at any fraction, you would see that the fraction has a number divided by another number. So the number that is there on the top is called the numerator and the number which is down is the denominator. So one good way to remember which one is numerator and which one is denominator is D for down, D for denominator. So the one which is down is the denominator. So obviously the other one which is on the up is the numerator. So the upper number is numerator and the lower number is denominator. So how do we read this 1 by 6? So this is read as 1 by 6 or you can also read it as 1 sixth. So when you say that 1 by 6 of the book has been read by me, that means if there are uh, let's say 100 pages in the book. So 1 sixth of 100 is already read by you. So that is an example of a fraction. Similarly, when you look at 9 by 14, it is it can be called as or it can be read as 9 14. Here 9 is the numerator and 14 is the denominator. This is 267 by 9808. So this is also an example of a fraction. Look at this one, 11 by 6, this is also a fraction. Now it is not always necessary that the numerator is smaller than the denominator. The numerator can be smaller, the numerator can be bigger. So any number in this format where you have, where you have a number in the form of a by b such that both a, such that a is, so any number in the form a by b such that b is not equal to 0, now let us look at some more examples of fraction. You ate, you took a bite of an apple. So did you eat the entire apple? No, you just ate some part of that complete apple. So this is an example of fraction because you ate some part of the whole. So it is a part of the whole. So therefore it is a fraction. Let's say you are studying and you could complete some portion of the entire book. That means you did not complete the entire book. You did not complete the whole book. You completed a part of the whole book. So a part of a whole would be a fraction. Let's say that you play for some portion of the entire day. That means you do not play for the whole day, but some part of the whole day. So some part of a whole is again a fraction. So whenever you come across any such scenario in a real life where you talk about something which is part of a whole, you are basically talking about fraction. Now let us look at these pictures and decide what fraction of the picture is shaded. So in the first example you see, in the first example you see a, a circle and you see that it has been divided into four parts but not all the four parts is shaded. Let's say this is one, two, three and four. So these are the four parts into which th this entire circle is divided. And do you think that all of all the four parts are shaded? No, only one part, part is shaded. That means one part out of the four parts is shaded. So we can say that one fourth of the circle is shaded. Let us look at the next one. In the next image, we see that it is an arrangement of many squares, many squares. So how many squares do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So total we have seven squares. So total number of squares is 7. How many shaded squares do we have? How many of these are shaded? 1, 2 and 3. So only 3 of them are shaded. So if I ask you what fraction of this entire figure is shaded, so what would you say? 3 out of 7 squares are shaded. So 3 seventh of this picture is shaded. Let's look at more examples. The first one, here you see a lot of flowers. How many total flowers do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So total number of flowers is 12. And how many of them are shaded? So the first three are shaded. So only three flowers out of 12 flowers are shaded. So 3 12th of the picture is shaded. 
or 3 12th can also be written as 1 4th because 3 4s are 12. So this can be very well written as 1 4th. So 1 4th of the picture is shaded. Let's look at the next one. So here you see uh, too many. How many objects do you see? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how many of them are shaded? Now, if, if you consider them shaded, all of them look shaded. So total, how many do you have? You have a total of 10. And how many shaded do you have? All of them are shaded. So therefore, 10 by 10 are shaded. That means all of them are shaded. So the whole picture is shaded in this case. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.